2016 is set to be a special year for golf, with its return to the Olympic Games for the first time in over a century. Opinion was initially divided on the news, but with just seven months remaining on the road to Rio, excitement's now building. The Olympics uh, is the, the greatest sporting event in the world, and uh, imagining us being part of that, uh, and just being part of the whole experience in the Olympic Village and, and being an Olympic athlete, I think uh, that the, the, whole, the whole experience will be, will be really cool. Golf being in the Olympics is going to be so great for the game. Uh, it's going to kind of broaden the, the viewers, I think. People that may have never watched golf before will watch it, but it'll also be great for, for golf in general because, you know, winning a gold medal is about as high of an honor as you can in, in athletics. Obviously, it's going to broaden uh, the viewing of golf and, and hopefully the participants, and it's going to put golf into countries that maybe don't even have a golf course at this point. Everyone's tried hard over the last however many years to make the game more accessible to everyone everywhere around the world, so uh, I think that fits in along those lines. To compete for a medal in the Olympic is, gosh, doesn't really get any bigger. Um, you compete with the biggest values in this game of sports and um, you're at the highest level and like I said, it's a dream come true. You know, to get there, it'll be like winning um, because it's gonna be a, a big step. There's other golfers trying to make the team as well and so for me to, to be a part of that team would be an honor, would be a thrill um, and be, represent the US. 60 men and 60 women will tee it up in Rio, with a maximum of four players from any one country allowed in each competition. Martin Keimer currently occupies one of the precious qualification spots, and he's already making plans for the tournament. I asked actually one guy um, last year when I was skiing in, in Italy, I asked him, do you think I should go to the village? He said, you gotta go to experience the whole thing. You learn so much, how they prepare, how professional it is and to know them, their attitudes, it, it did help him to compete in the Olympic Games because the whole spirit, the whole um, fire from them, he embraced it and it helped him to perform even better. So I definitely don't want don't to miss out on that chance. History beckons for the men on August the 11th with the ladies teeing off on the same course just a few days later on the 17th. It will start to, to bring, I think, hopefully more fans to, to the women's game when we, when we see the same test that, that, as the men being on the same golf course and, and we'll see that they'll, they'll play it just as well and adeptly as the men and, you know, they're, they're great athletes. There will be passion. You know, we're going to a very passionate country, Brazil. The environment that we'll have in Rio will, will stir up more and more emotion out of the players. I, I'm sure we're going to have a crowd that's that, that's passionate about the Olympics, and that, that will come out in the players. They'll have a wonderful experience. The qualifiers will play on a new Gil Hansert design course, cut from a nature reserve in Western Rio, and pre-construction legal challenges behind him, its designers now a happy man. I'm a big believer that there's very different aspects of golf, one being your playability, getting the ball around, not losing a lot of golf balls, having a good time, and the other is scoring. And I think that through angles, through hole locations, through the ability to set up the golf course more difficult, we've tried to create a set of problems that will be compelling for both the men and the women. I think I was surprised maybe to see the golf course being so linksy. I wasn't really sure. I haven't played much golf in South America. I wasn't really uh, uh, sort of sure what to expect. But uh, you know, Gil Hans described it as a as a Melbourne, Australia, you know, sand belt style golf course, and, and it looks awesome. And and uh, I'm sure it'll do a fantastic job. And uh, you know, South America will certainly be excited to to welcome the golfing world. It's a wonderful design. It really is going to be a thinking player's golf course. Your course management is going to have to be of the highest quality. And uh, I think we've got a real winner there. You can actually see, on the one hand, the sea from the golf course, which is great, but you can also see the Olympic Village. It's only a, a kilometre away. So we're right in the heart of the Olympic Games with the golf course. The chance to become part of golf's newest chapter is a real draw for the top players in the game. But how would it compare to winning a major championship? Oh, I would say um, winning any medal in the Olympics is um, 
maybe will make me even more excited than winning any majors because first of all, I've won one <laughs> major already. And I would say, you know, in four years, we have 20 times, uh, 20 chances to win majors. But, you know, in four years, we only have one time, you know, to be in the Olympics. For me, loving the Olympics uh, and, and being such a big fan of the Olympics like I've always been, I think it would be amazing. I'm not saying that it would be recognized as, you know, as maybe winning a major or anything like that. Maybe in the media or, or something like that, but my personal feeling to be able to participate in the Olympics and maybe have the chance of winning a gold medal, I think it will be one of the coolest things ever. Obviously it's different than a major, but you know, to have a gold medal, you know, not many people can say that they have an Olympic gold medal, so you know, I think it would be very special. In most sports, we'd rather win our major championship. You know, for me, I would. But you know, being being an Olympian is more about being an athlete and just being a part of something that's a lot bigger than you and, and the sport. It's a tough one. The green jackets are very nice, but having a gold medal would be uh, something that we've all watched. Uh, we've never been able to compete in. So being able to compete in and win would, would be, uh, I'd say definitely equal as the two. <laughs> I can't say it's better, but I can say it's definitely equal.